I got Marcus out there loading up the truck to send cars to GAA. I'm looking forward to that trip. We need to finish this car, the Trans Am, the Sunbeam, and the race car, and the Skull truck in the other building. He's been there before. He's never taken anything, but he's taking some stuff now. Originally, he wanted one car, two cars maybe. We're up to four. It's been a little difficult, but we got him running. Everything's working nice. We worked some details out, and, and it's going to be cool. Hey, boss, you ready? Yes, sir. Just got some paperwork for you to sign. Some kind of rig, my friend. Thank you so much. Good to meet you. See you in Greensboro. Thank you, sir. We got the team in the car, and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one, and we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Mike, how you doing, bro? Hey, Ted. Good to see, see you, man. buddy. Good to, good to see you. Where are my babies? Are They're they here? here. All of them's here. Are they all set up? All set up, ready to go, all, all ready up, checked ready in, go. cleaned up. You're good. I just need to sell them so I don't have to ship them back. I don't want to pay twice. I want to pay once. We'll ship your new ones back. That works for me. OK. Thanks, brother. I don't usually send cars to auctions, but this event has gotten better and better and better, and I'm here. I figured, let me try. Let me send some cars up. Chrissy. <laughs> How are you, darling? Oh. Good to have you back. Yeah. Ted Vernon arrived, and it was like my uncle walked in the door, and I had to give him a big old hug. He is like family here at GAA. We've got a great run of cars. Cosworth Vega. I have a black one. I got that. I got that. Well, you need that. I got that. Oh, well, how about that? I got that. OK, then look at that. I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Well, it looks like Mr. Green's waiting on us right here. Dean loves to crack jokes about my loud shirts. Good luck this year, pal. It's white. Hiya, Dean Green. Hey, Ted Vernon, how you doing? Oh, Where's your ugly yeah. shirt you normally wear? I left it with you. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to get me. Well, you know, we got something new every time you come up to show you. Yeah. We got new sky boxes. This is fantastic. We built them since the last time he was here. We have a buffet restaurant, a bar. When the people come in, they do not have to leave. We tried to give it an automobile look. We got stainless steel walls, the racing seats. Everything is automotive built. You know, Dean, I can see every car in the building from right here. It's amazing. We gave Ted an official VIP pass. And as long as he you know, sort of behaves himself, we'll let him stay up here. I honestly didn't know if I was going to get to be up here, but here I am, official. You know, I'm a floor guy, but between the buffet and the bar and this really beautiful seating, I could change. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, 2004 Taurus Dale Jarrett UPS NASCAR. The reason I'm selling this car is because it hasn't done well in Miami, but I'm in North Carolina, which is NASCAR country. What better place than North Carolina or South Carolina? to sell a NASCAR. These cars are now finding their way to the senior circuit where older gentlemen are driving these cars in competition today. I personally think this is too valuable a car to do that with, but you know, it is what it is. I just don't want to bring it home. I got 24 grand and if it gets in the mid-teens or close to it, it's gone. Gotcha. Is that fair? Get it out, but run it at least the 12, 13 grand. We'll get a rid of it. This is a NASCAR car I bought, a Dale Jarrett car, and uh, I don't know much about NASCAR. I don't know much about these cars. If I can't sell this in NASCAR territory, I ought to give it up. And now we're going to go to number 80. How about this? 2004 Taurus, Dale Jarrett Special, UPS sponsored. 354 to a 383. Come on up and take a look. We're going to start the bidding on this 2000 Taurus now. Dale Jarrett, UPS number 88. Working in four Taurus. All right, what are we going to do here, folks? It's very frustrating. I figured I could sell it up here. I mean, it's a NASCAR. I guess I wasn't right. I've done well with race cars in the past, and I really thought this one would knock a home run, but it didn't even get a bunt. In NASCAR country, this car didn't do a thing. 
You never, you never know. You know, you bring something you don't think is going to do anything, and it hits a home run. It is what it is. Hey, number 14, we've got a 1986 Pontiac Fiero SE. 1,500. That's all. It's over. I'm done. All right, let's go to number 15. It's a 1956 Nash Metropolitan. I, I don't have one of these now. My first one was yellow and white. This I wouldn't mind buying. 36. 41. I'm done. $3,500, I was comfortable. At five grand, I'm not comfortable. All right, let's go to number 17. It's a 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood. You want to buy that car for just a few grand. Not a lot. Two, three grand, $3,500. Two grand. Look for. That's too much money. Number 27, here you go. It is a 1995 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. I had to buy this NASCAR Jeff considering Gordon I can't sell the one I've got. I'd like to buy five. <laughs> this would be a great punishment for me. I can't sell both of them. A 95 Monte Carlo like that. Without all the stuff on it, it's probably worth less than a grand. Now it's bringing 10 grand, but it does have no provenance and almost no miles. I'm interested in this Jeep, a little trailer. That would be very cool. Teddy and I both like riding around on those vehicles. It's fun, and they sell. They're all right. Well, the trailer is just strictly, you know, it's military, and it's part of what the Jeep is all about, and it looks right with it. There's a lot of big buyers here. You don't ever know what they're going to like. Maybe they'll like military, maybe they won't. Normally, they like it. What do you figure it's worth? Possibly uh, 23, 25,000. That's more than twice what I think. Really? I mean, you, I think it'll sell know, for you know 15. A lot more about them than I, do. I don't know. I think it'll sell for mid teens, 15 to 18. You've been on this? I've for 10 years. Not my style. What do you think this is worth? Probably 10. I'll figure less. If I can stay under 10, it becomes a good deal for me. Coming up next, we've got a 1971 M15A2. Ford. That's right, a 1971, look at this Army Jeep, 141.5 cubic inches, 71 horsepower engine, four-speed manual transmission, and we're going to start the bidding on number 25, by the way, it does come with the trailer, right now. $7,500 to the dock. I won the auction on the Jeep at 7500 but the guy said no. So I've got to try to go to the deal doctor and salvage the deal. Hey, you got to help me, man. I'm not that kind of doctor. <laughs> Funny. I need to buy what some cars. What can I do for man, you? I'm having a hard time getting cars. I was high bid on his camo Jeep. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I went 7,500. I don't know what he wanted, but I'd go as much as 85. OK. I'm to ship at home and everything else. I think that's a fair offer. Why don't you get that for me? I'll do it, boss. Let me give it a shot. Man, GAA has been getting a lot of real serious buyers here. Yeah, yeah. Quality stuff. See you in a minute. Thank you, get boss. It, get it done. I will do it. You got You're it. You're the doctor. <laughs> You'd be all right, brother. We'll work uh, on it for you. Thank you, sir. I honestly think 75 is enough. I'd probably go 85. I've got to ship it home, too. I go 85, that'll be all right. Let me get it for that. Dealing with Ted on both sides of the deal is difficult at times, but he's, he's a fun guy to work with. We're good at hooking and jabbing. My goal is to put every deal together that we can do. We want to sell cars here. You rang? Well, we're close. Here's the diagnosis. Got to have nine. That's fair. You got it. Done. Need you to sign there that we're doing this. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Hey, we Thank get a lot man. of these done. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you, I man. did something. We appreciate you coming. Thank you. 
You know that. My car. Appreciate your business. Thank you, Thank you Ted. I brought this Trans Am up from Miami to do a deal with a local Greensboro family. I really don't want to ship it back home. You like it? Yeah. I, I love, love the this. car. It's a beautiful Trans Am. My first car is an 85 Trans Am. That's why I love that one, too. I love the color and especially the Eagle. I expect to be driving this car when I'm 16. Depends how he is. If he's OK, I let him have it. I got a call from a kid that want to buy my Trans Am. It's a uh, what I'd call an average condition 79 Trans Am. It's got the 6.6 motor, which is a big plus, and that uh, runs good. But it's just an average old car. I think it's worth in the low teens. Hi, guys. How you doing? All right. I'm good. Ted Vernon. I'm Tino. Hi, Tino. How are you? Good. I'm Gavin. Hey, Gavin. How nice you doing? To meet you. And you called me about my car. Yes, we wanted to see if we could get a deal on it. Well, I brought it here to sell. I sure don't want to bring it home. You know, this is a 79 Trans Am. It's got the 6.6. It's the big motor. It's got the spoiler. It's just a really nice old car. Yes, I like it. I love the Trans Ams. Yep. My sons like it, so. Got some nice wheels. I mean, it's a good car. And it's, it's not going to be crazy money. I met Tino and Gavin and his family, and I could see by their excitement that they just wanted to buy that car. Well, I think Gavin's a big influence. It's a dad-son thing. I like to get it the cheaper I can get it, but I know the car is in a good price, you know, 15, 18, it's a good price. I think anything below 18,000 is a solid deal. My son is really generous. He wants to pay 18, but oh, I think in anything under 15, it's a good price because I'm the one that paid the bills, and <laughs> I got to take care of him and the, the car, too. For me to be safe to sell this car, you know, 12 grand's great. I'm happy. I make money. Trans Ams are strong. But I don't hold cars. I roll them. I make a buck, and I go to the next car. All right. I really like the car, so what's going to be your price, bottom price? Give me the best price you got it. OK, here's the price. I'll knock your eyes out. You ready? Yeah. I'll sell you this car for $12,000. OK, I'm good, Gunda. You all right? Yeah, all right. Thank you. you. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Gavin, you happy? He's yeah. got the car, so yeah. he's got to be happy. He's got to well, be. It'll be his one day, huh? Yeah, when he's 18. I got a new Trans Am. We got a new toy. I'm very happy that we got the Trans Am. I think I got a good deal. He's a great guy. This gentleman didn't come here to play. He came here with his family, armed for bear. He came to buy this car. He liked it. He wasn't leaving without it. This was a really nice group of people. It's a nice family. And I'm very comfortable being a little gentle with them. And, and this is what they wanted. And they, they were fair with me. And you know, it's great. I sold it. I'm happy. Time to go back to the GAA auction and try to make some money with something. <laughs> And I know that color, candy apple red. That's a Bill Jordan car, I'll bet you. That's you. Hey, Tim. Bill. How are you? Hi. Man, I knew that was you. I'm walking around the auction. I run into Bill Jordan, the Cobra guy. I knew it was his right away, by the way, it was Bill. We're real proud of our little cars, and uh, we put a lot of extra work in them. And uh, I think he recognizes quality when he sees it. Did you build this one? Yeah, we built this one ground up. The color's amazing. We've done a lot of specials on it. We have the chrome roll bar bezels here. We do the two-inch roll bar. It's really a, a nice car. We have the drop floorboard so that you have more foot space in the really? foot box. What motor you got in this one? This is a small block forward. 5.0? Yeah, 5.0. Yeah. You want to see the motor? Let me show you the motor. Go ahead. You know, I'll tell you, you can tell when you build one how clean and nice it is. Well, thank you. It's true. Well, what do you want for the car? We think it's going to bring 60000 here. That's why you're here at GAA. You'll bring the money. Our goal is 60000 We think it's worth, actually, probably a little more. But the market's a little soft right now. But 60000 would be a, a, a fair price. Well, I wish you the best with it. I'm sure you'll do well with that car. The nice stuff really does well. All right, you're good. See you. Good seeing you. See you guys. We've brought several cars here over the past two years. We normally bring four each time. We've been very successful. Uh, it's a wonderful bunch to work with, and we look forward to doing well this weekend. Ted, what do you think about this truck? I like it. You know what else I like about it? What? It's a 46. I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, partners with a sale that we do three times a year, a classic car sale. Ted's a good buddy of mine. I've been knowing Ted a long time. We go back probably 30 some odd years. 10, 12 grand. 
I don't think you can buy a truck for that. I don't think you're too cheap, as usual. Then I don't think I'll buy it. I don't, I don't think you can get a truck bought for What that. am I going to sell it for, 16, 18? I think the truck does at least 14, 15. I like coming here to the Greensboro auction. They have such a, an assortment of cars. They have so many cars, and I get to see a lot of people in this circle. It's a very small world with the collector car company. This car is too much over the top for me to buy and make any money on. It's too far over the top. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even look at it. We looked at an overbuilt Camaro monster car someone put a ton of money in. I don't have a market for it. Not going to sell it my place. The car was too nice. That car could do in excess of $50,000, and the market actually shrinks so much. The higher the price of the car, it's harder to sell. Now, there's a car that I've done well with. The Prowlers? I've sold a lot of Prowlers. Right now, the Prowlers have really gone up in price, and they're too hard to buy. Too tough to buy one worth the money. So I haven't bought one in about a year. They're great looking cars. They look fast, but they got a six cylinder motor. They're underpowered. I, I agree with that. Prowlers are a loud car. You know, they're a look at me car. They're just a nice, cute little cruiser. That's all they are. Hold, 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 hold it, hold it. Check this out. How about a three axle rover? How about that's a Ted if this, Mobile? If this is not a Ted Mobile, I don't car. know what it is. Oh, my goodness. I don't know, Ted, it might be actually too nice for you. When I walked up to this huge Range Rover out there with dual axles on the back, it's sure me. You know, you might be the only person in America that this would be a priority buy for you. When Ted saw that, he lit up just like a little kid at Christmas time. He walked around and looked at the car, and he already had plans. He could envision himself driving it at places around Miami. Why are you criticizing this car? I, I love this car. No, it's, it's a great car. You know me. I like things that haven't been tampered with, originality. Mike and Tyson. What? How many miles? Only has a 1,000 miles on it. There's a reason why Mike, they did Mike Tyson. I understand. This is me right here. I want to buy this car. Well, Ted, there's a reason it only has a 1,000 miles on it. Because he probably put it in a stable of cars and never drove it. No, because he's probably too embarrassed. I like the more original, restored cars that, that are period correct. Ted likes the stuff that's a little bit funny. He likes something different. And Ted's got a niche for working with that. I would rather have something that I got 50 people coming to buy instead of one. What I like about a car like this and about so-called clown cars is there's only one of them. No one's going to come and say, well, I can buy this car down the street for 20 grand less. I said, go do it. Go find it. The Range Rover is so unique. I like one-of-a-kind unusual items. And that just screams one-of-a-kind. So I like it. Sir. I know nothing about these cars. The Series 5 Alpine. Yeah. It was less than 20,000 of them made. They were made between 65 and 68. They built these to race against the 356 Porsches. Yeah. And they did very, very well. Yeah. Hey. What do you think this car is worth? It's great underneath. I went under it. it looks looks, no, it's very nice underneath. It's not a Tiger, though. No, of course not. It's not but, 40 grand. About, yeah, about eight, nine grand. Oh, no. Not that much? No, much more than that. Here's number 182. It's a 67 Sunbeam Alpine convertible. Look at this Sunbeam. Beautiful car. Just as nice underneath as it is on top. We're going to start the bidding on number 182 now. You remotely I know, but I, right now, I'll get you 85 if I get you somewhere around 10. No, let's get it up over 12. Yeah, I got your money, 11 to 50. I'll net you that. Sell I just want to sell you a car. Sell it, car. I want to sell your car. 11 to a half. Let's sell the car. Reserves all. Reserves all. Reserves all. Seven pilot. Seven pilot. So seven two and a half. If you don't lose money on some cars, you're not buying enough cars. It's an old expression I learned many years ago. The guy that bought it was just exactly what he wanted. He's a big Mercedes and Porsche guy, and he doesn't have one of those. He just wanted that car. I love convertibles. That's my favorite. And never had a Sunbeam. He's my very first one. And I come to these auctions three, four times a year. I came to see a car, two cars down from it. Then when I spotted the car, I made sure that I would bet on it. It was just too nice to pass. But when he started looking at the car, I realized that was his car. I didn't think he would really sell it for that price. He lost some money, but hopefully he'll make it on something else. I don't lose very often on a car, but when I do, I do it with a smile. He was amazed he got it that cheap. I was depressed. He was amazed. Keith? 
Doing good, doing good. How about this thing's in Tennessee. It's been pretty good. A little tough. How about tough? I've been trying to buy cars all weekend. That's been tough. GAA is doing one hell of a job for the seller. I mean, they're getting all the money for these cars. They are. Well, how many are you bought so far? About two Mustangs, a Faxback Mustang, a convertible Mustang, and a 6.7 Nova SS. You bought all good cars? They've got really good quality stuff here, and they bring people in from all over the country. Really good sale. It's been tough for a lot of serious buyers yeah. here. Yeah. They're bringing all the money. Yeah, yesterday we had a pretty good day. We sold a few, and uh, got some running today. Hopefully do better. Hopefully the prices will be down a little bit when this one runs through, but who knows? GAA is pretty serious about their cars. You better tell like it is with them and, and do the right thing yeah. and you're good. And they're real careful about the VIN numbers and the titles. So when you get something in, they say it's numbers matching or something's confirmed, they've already checked it out. I'll bet you leave with this car today. I don't know. We'll see. You're going to be on it. I'm going to be on it. Good to see you. Good to nice see you, Joe. Good to see you. Take care, bro. The GAA auction is done. A lot of great cars went under the hammer. They sold a ton. The VIP area that Dean Green built is off the charts. I didn't see anyone here that didn't have a really good weekend. This was a good time to be here, and it's always a nice time at GAA. I got to touch base with a lot of my car buddies, sold my Alpine, sold my Trans Am. The only thing I was able to really get was the darn Jeep. You know, I worked three days to buy one Jeep. That's a tough one for me. You got a lot of people with a lot of money coming here for this show. I always want to buy a bunch of cars. You know, I sell a lot of cars, so I like to buy a lot. This was real tough this weekend. You know, sometimes you just don't get to buy all the cars you want to buy.